Trials and troubles in this world are inevitable. Businesses close down, people get sick, others lose their jobs, and relationships become broken, and a lot of different things that we can control. For example, I lost my job two years ago when the pandemic first hit. It wasn't an easy journey. I jumped from one job to another, and it was really hard to have career and financial stability. A lot of times when we go through difficulties in life, we feel like giving up and just letting go because it seems much easier that way. It says in Hebrews 10, 35-36, Therefore do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward. For you have need of endurance, so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what is promised. As I was going through my own trials, I had a lot of questions. Like, Lord, when is this going to end? When will things get better? And Lord, do I just give up? As I continued to pray and read my Bible, I also continued to grow in my relationship with God. And I was all the more able to endure, all the more able to hold on to His Word and promises. Throughout my journey, God revealed Himself to me, and I got to know Him more as my provider, as my father, and as my king, who is able and willing to provide the things I need and even want for myself and for my family as well. God has proven Himself faithful, and that for me is the greatest reward, to grow in my relationship with God and know Him more for who He is and what He is doing in my life. I believe the same goes for all of us, that as we endure our own trials and difficulties, we have an opportunity to grow in our relationship with God and know Him more as a healer, whether that is to heal us of cancer, of stroke, or COVID. You know, we get to know Him more as a God of forgiveness who can restore even the most broken relationships and heal whatever pain we might have in our hearts that prevents us from extending forgiveness to others as well. In the midst of anxiety and depression, we get to know Him more as a God of peace. Peace that surpasses all understanding. Going back to Hebrews 10, it says in verses 38 to 39, But my righteous one shall live by faith, and if he shrinks back, my soul has no pleasure in him. But we are not of those who shrink back and are destroyed, but of those who have faith and preserve their souls. As followers of Jesus and as people of God, we are to endure and live by faith as we go through trials. Of course, this is easier said than done. But the reason we can endure is because we are not alone in this journey. First and foremost, Jesus Christ is with us. He is Emmanuel, God with us. It is through Jesus Christ that we can power through trials. When Jesus died on the cross, He won victory over sin. Three days later, he rose from the dead, claiming victory over death. And as Jesus won victory over sin and death, he has also won victory over everything else in this world. He has won victory over your finances, over your health. Jesus has won victory over your relationships and family issues. That's why we can endure and live by faith through Jesus Christ. Secondly, we are not alone because we have a family and a community around us that can pray with us, cry with us, encourage us, and speak life to us. If you're not yet part of a community or a victory group, we want to journey with you and we want to pray for you. As we go through trials and difficulties, the Bible encourages us to endure. Let us read our Bible and grow in our relationship with God. Let us put our complete trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross and let us reach out and be connected to our church community. Enduring trials and difficulties should never be done alone. See you next time.